Hi, I'm Marek from Zopra Software and in today's video we will talk about more advanced cases of how to undo a comet in Git. If you haven't seen the part 1, which is the basics of how to undo a comet in Git, click the card in the upper right corner and let's go to the video. If you watched part 1 of this video, you already know several ways to roll back changes. Each has its own advantages and disadvantages. Let's now consider a more difficult case. Suppose I have a password or other very important piece of information saved in the plain text in the notes file. I accidentally added this file to my comment and did a push. What's next? The quick reset won't work because it will ruin the history. Revert will also do nothing because my comment will still be public. Well, it won't be visible in the current version of the code, in the current head, but it will be stored in the history. This is very dangerous because it gives the illusion that the password is no longer available in the repository. So, how can we deal with it? It's not that simple, especially when many people are using our repository at the same time. This can be a big problem for the company. Not only do we risk losing important data, but also repairing such a problem may stop work on a given project for some time. Let me explain what steps would be taken in such situation. We will be using reset operation, but before that we need to pause syncing with the external repository for a while. Nobody can pull nor push and all open PRs should be closed. The person to fix the situation should ideally do a clean clone of the project. What's next? Well, now we're doing a reset, something that we know spoils our history. But don't worry, in this case we are doing it on purpose and we are about to figure out how to get out of it. This is easy enough because we just reset with the hard flag. When we are sure that the unwanted change is gone, then we do a push, but necessarily with the force flag, which overrides the state of the current branch. This allows us to push, even though we change the commit history. But be careful! This is a very risky operation, and usually the use of the force flag is disabled for security reasons. There is also another way to solve the problem that we mentioned before. We can create a local copy of the branch with the unwanted code and then remove the branch completely from the external repository. On our copy we reset as previously, but we don't use the force flag when doing a push, because from the Git perspective we're pushing a completely new branch, just with the same name as before, only the content will be different. In both those situations there is one thing we must remember, and it's very important from a security perspective. If someone somehow knows the hash of our deleted and unwanted commit, he or she will be able to access it and recover it for some time. The removed commit will become so-called orphaned commit. It will not be linked to any branch, but will still exist. Moreover, there is a mechanism in Git called restore that allows us to recover the deleted files. Another, and it seems to be the safest way, is to use a backup of the repository from before the unfortunate commit. Although, that might require some work. The risk here is losing the changes that came later but we can patch them and then apply them to the version recovered from the backup. If you have properly configured backup process, then deleting the repository and quick restore based on the backup seems to be the safest and fastest solution because it does not require us to manually reset specific changes. One conclusion can be drawn from this. Make backup as often as possible because you never know when you might need it. And when you will need it, and you will need it for sure, then you realize how much it costs you to lack it. So that was the advanced version of the video how to undo a comet in Git. If you want to see a basic version, see this video. And if you enjoyed this one, leave a like, subscribe to this channel and visit our sites zopro.com and gitprotect.io. See you in the next video. Goodbye.